Hey, this is Chris from Essential SQL and welcome to another SQL Minute. Today I want to talk about the intersect set operator. And to do this, I'm going to bring in a couple of table variables that I have defined here to help us explore how intersect works. So let me first do a select from these table variables. We'll do color. And we'll do from um, at truck. And then I'm going to do the same query for car. And when I run this, we're going to get back two results, one from trucks and one from cars. And here they are. Now, what's cool about the intersect operator is it allows us to find those rows that are in common between the two results. So in our case here, we will find rows that are in common are, as far as color goes, would be red, blue, and yellow. And they exist in both tables. So the, the idea is how can I get those commonalities into one result? And to do that, I can use intersect. So I just simply can put an intersect between my results here. And when I run this, now I get back one table that has the results. Now there's a couple of rules that need to apply when you're using intersect and these are rules that apply to all set operators. The first is, is that the number of columns coming back in your results need to be the same. So if I did select ID and color and then just color for this result, it's going to give me an error. So it says it needs to have an equal number of expressions. Uh, take that to mean the number of columns aren't equal. Okay, And then the other is, is that the data types need to be equal. So if I come in and type in intensity here, you're going to find that even though the data types look numeric and they're close, uh, one has been defined as a vercare, the other as an integer. SQL server is not going to be able to make the leap to do an implicit data type conversion and it looks like it's running and working okay but look at here we have a conversion failed when converting ver care to data type in so it was able to parse everything but the minute it tried to bring things together it's like i can't do that so what i usually do when i know i have a slight mix in types is i'll cast them to the common type that i i know would work so i could say cast this as a float and we'll call this id float and then intensity will just cast as um, a float. And I'm going to call this intensity float. And when I run this now, I get zero results back. And the reason is, is it's kind of funny. I'm like, whoa, what's going on here? It's because I don't have any values that are in common. You see, I got all my intensities here are one, and I don't have anything down here that would be a one. So let me just change uh, blue here to be like 1.0 and then run it. And we should get blue. And there we go, we get blue. And, and the other thing I wanted to point out is that though I need to have the same number of columns and types, the names do not need to be the same. So the expression names here are obviously different and it picked the first expression as the, the column name. So one last thing I wanted to show is how you can order your results. So I'm going to get rid of this and just use color again so we get a little more result. And then I'm going to order this by the color. And there you see I can get the color ordered. And if I wanted to, I could even do it in, um, let's see, that's in ascending order. Let's do it in descending order. And you see now it goes yellow, red, blue. So, so that's an introduction to Intersect. It's a great little set operator to use when you want to find commonalities between two results. And I hope you uh, enjoyed the show. Have a great day.